Hi everyone, it is Alexis here, and today I am showing you all this fabulous, colorful look. It's okay, I'm not the biggest fan, but I think someone else might like it, possibly. Um, and this is from the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place. I just got these in the mail, and I had to use them. The colors are ridiculous. Um, I got two palettes. I'll probably feature the other palettes in another video. But look at these colors. How could you even possibly resist? They have like your really bright up top. And then they have the neutrals on the bottom. Plenty of shimmers. A couple mattes. I think it's a good variety of shades. Um is cool and warm toned and yeah if you want to see how I got this kind of purple halo eye with a little extra pop of color then just keep on watching hi everyone so the first color I'm starting out with is this color called Burkina and I'm taking that and I'm applying that to my crease just sort of as my transition color so that my shadows blend out nicely I honestly really just didn't know what color to to start out with so I was like okay transition color first <laughs> hope take off the pressure Next, I was actually, you saw that I was like struggling. <laughs> but I end up taking the color Makita on just a flat brush and I'm applying that to my inner and outer corners. And this is how I start out my halo eyes anyways, but I was dying from this pigmentation. These colors are so pigmented. I'm so glad I got these palettes. Oh my lord. I'm so ready. Okay, so I'm applying this again to my inner and outer corner, and I'm just kind of going back and forth trying to intensify the color payoff. Not that it needed much help, but... I went and did that and sort of buffed out the edges a little bit with that same brush. And then I took the same brush that I applied Burkina with and just kind of touched up the edges a bit. Next I'm taking Giza, 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 that sounds better. I'm taking that color and I'm applying that to the center of my lid. Super, super pigmented. If you're fair skin, I would totally use this as a highlighter. I'm just saying, just going to throw that out there, but I'm applying that to the center of my lid and then taking that blending brush again and blending that out and I kind of keep going back and forth kind of to add more color um, to the outer corners and just really focusing on keeping those edges blended and also keeping those colors intense. Next, I'm taking just a white eyeliner pencil and I'm applying that to my waterline and my lower lash line. Here, I didn't really know what to do. <laughs> this is purely an experiment, guys. I literally just opened a palette and went for it. So just forgive me for my confusion. So next, I took actually Dahia and I've used that as a highlighter so this one is really nice on like brown skin and Giza is really cool for lighter skin I'm throwing it out there you guys these colors are super pigmented and beautiful as highlighters if you decide to use them as such next I'm taking my MAC mascara this is just a waterproof mascara I love this mascara this makes my eyelashes look amazing and here I actually don't have my extensions in so this one really makes my natural eyelashes pop. I actually didn't wear falsies in this video. 
so I was happy about that and I just applied it to my top and lower lash line again I was kind of running with it so I was still kind of like staring at the palette trying to figure out what I wanted to do but in the meantime I started on my lip this is Nude Truffle by NYX I love this this is one of my favorite nude lip pencils and I went over it with Artistry's I believe champagne lip gloss on top of it just because the eyes were so bright and I thought I was done here but I wasn't so then I went in to Zola and applied that to my lower lash line and my waterline for that pop of teal and that is literally it that's it easy peasy super fun super bright and I'm obsessed I hope you all enjoyed watching Thank you.